good evening and welcome to the Vernon Township Supervisors meeting for December 5th, 2019. We'll start off with a prayer and salute to the flag. Supervisor Fritz will read the prayer for us. Bless us as we gather today for this meeting. Guide our minds and hearts so that we will work for the good of our community and help all your people. Teach us to be generous in our outlook, courageous in face of difficulty, and wise in our decisions. I pledge allegiance to the flag of the United States of America and to the republic for which it stands, one nation, under God, indivisible, with liberty and justice for all. Roll call, Lori. Maloney. Here. Snyder. Here. Sierra. Present. Wagner. Here. Smith. Here. Okay. This time we'll open the floor to citizen comment. Thanks, Mr. Chairman, fellow supervisors. Uh, Dave Stone, 16238 Harpersburg Road. I remember you, King, used to come up here 31 years now. Not quite as long as you, but uh, yeah, I've been there a long time. Long enough to, uh, uh, I told Don about that, my trivia question for who my only trick or treater has been in 31 years. I had to be Don and his kids. They were so, they were so great. But I really just came today uh, to say thanks uh, to a lot of people. And, First of all, I want to start with the board. You guys do a terrific job. You serve our community well. I've known Don, for, we worked together for 30 years, and known Gary, and, and I've got to know Greg over the years, and Fritz is such a great, great guy. He's always informed, always keeps abreast, and you guys should be proud of the job that you do for this community. Thank you. Uh, thank you. With that, I wanted to thank our department heads who still work here, they're still there, doing a terrific job. But perhaps more than anything, when you transition from administration, like we just went through, you just went through, uh, man, Robbie's just done a terrific job. I uh, just talked to him. Uh, it worked really, really well. I think the way we transitioned it with him going to the zoning and then taking everything over. And I want to applaud everybody's efforts. No tax increase budget again. Uh, I can't tell you how uh, regressive real estate taxes are. And if I wanted to take five minutes, I could explain everything, why real estate taxes are just not a good thing. They're really not. They're aggressive. They make it so people don't want to build in your community. Tax exempt properties become a problem. And if you ever want to really see a problem, try to figure out an assessed value, right? All those come into play as real estate taxes become more important to you. So keeping them down is great. And one of the things I did, first things I did when I was taking Robbie around, give him a little bit of uh, knowledge, I took him to Joe Galbo and had Joe explain to Robbie what assessed value was when we walked out of the place. He said, well, Dave, I see what you mean. Nobody knows what an assessed value, how you calculate an assessed value. It's, uh, it, it, it was quite a thing. But the main reason I came today other than to see my old good friends and uh, uh, fellow workers and uh, people I used to work with was to thank our Charles Thomas. Uh, it's too bad Mr. Thomas is not here tonight. Uh, but I want to let everybody know in this community I don't know how long it's been, Lori, but I'm going to say 50 years. 40 years. Yeah. So, I mean, it's been a phenomenal amount of time. 30 years with me, I know. And what a great job he did. Uh, you know, kept this township out of trouble. People don't understand the complexity of trying to run a government between uh, knowing state regulations with liquid fuels, the known pension. If anybody watched the Eagle City Council meeting, you begin to see how complicated these pension plans really are, developing ordinances for them and things like that. And Mr. Thomas did an outstanding job. And I was just telling Bruce, an uh, old friend, and uh, I just said, I don't think our Charles charges for half the stuff he ever did. You know, one of the things you'll probably have to look at when you do that budget, you're probably going to have to raise the... Uh, uh, line item for uh, legal services, but perhaps more than anything, not only a good solicitor, but I have to say Mr. Thomas was a good friend. Uh, we happened to be in a stock club together and I got to know him very, very well. And I just can't say enough for all the hard work and dedication and the service he provided this community. And with that, my three minutes are probably up. <laughs> <laughs> Thank, Thank you. you. Thanks, Dave. Thank you, Dave. Appreciate it. Bruce. 
Hi, Bruce Lawyer, Pine Road. Uh, good to be here. Came here for a lot of the same reasons Dave did. First off, same thing he said. Congratulations to all of you and congratulations to the staff. And I second what a great transition it was to have Bobby, Robbie move over and everything. Just great. Um, and wish everyone a, a Merry Christmas and a Happy New Year. But I came here, you know, to talk a little bit about uh, our Charles, all right? Uh, it was amazing with the calm, the way he could take a look and explain some of the things that were complicated so that we, non legalese people, could understand what was going on. I was always amazed when we had one of the meetings where he did the questions to the people who were going for the uh, special new, special things and everything. And in no time flying, he had the right questions for these people, you know? The right questions that got to the root of it and uh, everything went smooth. Uh, it, it was just amazing. and. Uh, uh, I'd like to say we got to know each other a little bit too, and uh, I'm going to say something to him that probably nobody else will understand. It's been a long time for both of us since the IG Farburn building. Okay. Thank you. Thank and you best wishes to everyone. Thank you. Thank you very much. <coughs> <clears throat> Looks like that's it for uh, citizen comment. And on the subject of Mr. Thomas, unfortunately, Mr. Thomas is feeling under the weather and unable to attend tonight's meeting. So tonight is the last televised meeting with him as our solicitor, and we wanted to honor him with this plaque for his 40 years of service to the township. <coughs> we will be giving him one of these plaques and also displaying one here at the township. We want to thank him for his 40 years of guidance, and he will forever be a friend of Vernon Township. This will be up in the foyer there with the other plaques. So, moving on, we'll have the approval of the <coughs> minutes. Can I have a so motion? Move. Second. A motion and a second to approve the minutes. All in favor? Aye. Aye. Anyone not in favor? Okay. Finances, motion to direct the treasurer to issue checks for the approved vouchers due for payment. I make that motion. I have a motion. Second. Second. All in favor? Aye. Aye. Anyone not in favor? The motion to ratify the payroll for the employees from October 27th, 2019 through November 23rd, 2019, and the supervisor's pay. So moved. Second. Motion, motion and a second. All in favor? Aye. Aye. Anyone not in favor? Moving on to correspondence, we have Pam Williams. Um, he sent a nice card. Uh, the phrase is simple and the words are few, but behind them is a whole lot of appreciation. Thank you to the crew that gave Vernon Street a big upgrade. You did a great job. Have an awesome holiday. Sorry this took so long to get to you. Thanks again, Pam Williams. Thank you, Lori. Okay, moving right along. Road report, Ludwig Zambensky, Roadmaster. Yep. Please. Please report first. Pardon me? Oh, please. That's yeah. Okay. <laughs> yeah. Oh, let's get that. Okay, sorry about that, Randy. That's fine. Go with the police report. Okay. Uh, well, what I'm going to give you tonight, <clears throat> folks, thanks, Mr. Chairman and everyone, is the Burning Township Police Department's monthly report. This will be for the month of November 2019. For the month of November, we answered 223 calls for service, bringing our yearly total to date to 2,557 calls. We responded to 18 motor vehicle accidents. We assisted 17 citizens that were locked out of their vehicles. We had 11 traffic stops for various traffic infractions. We issued one citation, and we gave out 10 warnings. It's the season. Uh, we had no citations for non-traffic issues. Three citizens were assisted with non-traffic issues. We attended 13 court hearings in the month of November at District Judge Lincoln Zillhaver's on Route 19. Of those 13 hearings, 12 were for criminal offenses, one was for traffic. Traveled a total of 2,483 miles patrolling in the township in November. A couple things I have that I'd like to mention is that, of course, school's in. We're watching for the buses. Buses are doing good. Everybody seems to be respecting the buses and their lights, so I'm very happy to say that. Roundabouts open, things are working well there. 
And we wish, of course, everyone you know here tonight's mentioned R. Charles, and I personally have had the pleasure of working with R. Charles for 23 years. And I personally want to thank him for the help he's given me, the friendship and his guidance over the years. And the same with my department wishes to thank him. And with that, I just want to wish everyone a happy and safe holiday season. So thank you. Thank you, Chief. Any questions for the Chief? No. All right. Now we can move on to the road report. Ludwig Zambinski, Roadmaster. Thank you, Chairman Maloney. Good evening, Supervisors. Uh, the month of November was a uh, fairly decent month. Uh, check roads after uh, wind and rainstorms on the 1st, the 4th, and the 27th. Uh, cleaned off a lot of tree limbs, uh, cleaned some clogged pipes and ditches and leaf dams on Hollis, Sportsman, Cotton, and the catch basin down on Pennsylvania Avenue. Uh, we hauled gravel and repaired three washouts on Swamp Road and two on Johnson. Uh, did some ditch cleaning on Van Horn, Putnam, Hollis, and West Vernon. Spread some gravel and ran the road planer on the gravel roads twice. Installed the uh, plow rat delineators on uh, the roads and installed road clothesline on the Glen Street Hill. Uh, we plowed and salted roads four days and spread anti skid two days in the month of November. On um, sign repairs and upgrades, uh, installed a new Putnam Road sign, repaired Park Row sign, and uh, did some sign repair on Middle and Brown Hill roads. I built up a, uh, the turnaround at the end of Van Horn Road with some millings. Uh, boom out some brush on Rogers Ferry. We finished the uh, Penn Dot Agility uh, uh, project on that road. Uh, we still owe them uh, some hours. So we're finding out now what roads they want us to do next. Next, uh, we did some boom mowing on Bailey, Johnson, PA Avenue, Hollis, and Car Hill roads. Under equipment maintenance on the 2015 uh, new differential seal, uh, it was warranty covered under Lake, at Lakeview Ford. Uh, truck 5 repaired the plow lights, truck 2 repaired uh, rear work light and some other lights on the truck. Uh, JCB backhoe changed oil, uh, filters and greased on the John Deere boom mower and greased it. On the 21st, uh, we attended the PennDOT Winter Services meeting with Rob. And uh, from myself and the road department, we appreciate the, all the uh, years of service uh, Mr. R. Charles Thomas served. It's been a pleasure uh, sitting up here with him. And I wish you well on your retirement. You're truly uh, uh, an asset to our community and truly a statesman. So, hope you enjoy your retirement. And on behalf of the Red Department, uh, wish everyone a happy holiday season. All right, thank you. Any questions for Len? All right, thank you. Administration zoning report, Rob Horvath, manager. Good evening, Supervisors. First, I'll start out with the zoning. We're wrapping up another successful year in that department with permit fees totaling over 41000 for the year. Um, we're gearing up for another successful year in 2020. This past month, I've been working with developers as well as contractors for projects for next year. It's already looking like a good year for residential construction with a few new homes slated for construction in the spring. The Planning Commission did meet this month to review a subdivision off of Mullen and Kevin Drive. However, it has not yet been before the County Planning Commission, so hopefully we'll be able to review it at our year-end meeting. Administratively, we discussed last night, we are continuing to move forward with the traffic concerns on Denver Drive. Um, we're in the process of developing a neighborhood traffic calming policy and procedures. This is something that we'll work on throughout the winter, so we'll be in a position to implement any needed traffic calming procedures in the spring. Myself and Lud met with our municipal partners in PennDOT to go over our procedures for the winter maintenance of the Smock Ridge sidewalk. I'd like to uh, mention that for everyone out there, our free bus service to get over the bridge is currently being provided by CATA. Um, anyone uh, getting on the bus at Giant Eagle and Vernon Township or on Willow Street in the city can ride over it for free. It's a nice alternative to a long, cold walk over the bridge. Um, the 2020 budget is, for you, is before you for approval. Financially, uh, for 2019, we're in good shape. If we're seeing almost across the board our incomes being over budget with expenses being kept in check. At our year-end meeting, we'll be making a contribution to our capital. This was unplanned, however, with the successful year we've had, we've been able to put some money away. We expect 2020 to be another solid year for the township financially, and we are ready to get started on another year. Finally, it's the end of the year. I just wanted to thank everyone that has helped the township this year by serving on our various boards and authorities between our planning commission, Jim Rhodes, Greg Latta, Ken Mudger, Chris Wood, Greg Smith, Caleb Rhodes, and Chad Keltenbaugh, uh, the zoning hearing board, uh, Chris Anderson, Tina Bernard, 
Bob Franklin and Dean Fair, representatives to the Mark, Dick Astor, and Paul Offenlander, Water Authority, Mike Gianni, Mike Fuzza, Mike Burnside, and Bob Franklin, and the Sewer Authority, Mark Gilday, Jan Metzler, Dan Petrusso, Paul Huber, and Randy Byam. It's over 20 dedicated people that help out our township every year. And for that, I say thank you. Um, finally, for our Charles, uh, I just want to thank him for his guidance. Nothing ever excited him. He was always <coughs> calm and collected. He was a great asset to have in my corner whenever I had an issue, and uh, he will be missed. And that's my report for the night. Thank you, Rob. Um, we'll move on to uh, new business. We don't know new business. Okay. Um, old business. Uh, motion to approve the 2020 budget. I'll make that motion. And motion. No, second. second. Motion and a second. All in favor? Roll call. Roll call. Roll call I'm sorry. Maloney? Yes. Snyder? Yes. Smith? Yes. Wagner? Yes. Vieira? Yes. Okay. Brings us to our upcoming meetings. Uh, December 19th, we'll have the supervisor's year-end meeting at 4 p.m. And January 6th, the supervisor's reorganizational meeting and the regular meeting will be at 7.30 p.m. So, that we'll have uh, the supervisor comments. Start with Gary. Uh, I am going to miss our Charles Thomas, the man was so good, you would ask him a question, he would say right off the top of his head, this is what I believe, if you say anything different, I'll get back to you. And some of the attorneys, you catch them off guard with that, but not all Charles. And uh, he just did a, a great job of Vernon Township. I mean, I, I worked up here for what, uh, well, I, probably 40 years between working with the township engineer and working as a supervisor. And he, the man never failed, he never failed. Great man, truly great. He will be missed. Man, I wish everybody a really happy holidays, nice, have a nice Christmas and New Year's. Be safe. And that's all I have. Thank you, Gary. Joe? I'm going to wish everybody a uh, safe and happy holiday season and a Merry Christmas. And uh, personally, I'm going to miss Mr. Thomas. Uh, he was very instrumental in helping me adjust to becoming a board member. Um, I think I can speak for the three that were new coming on this year. It can be a rather daunting task if you're not familiar with it, even if you do have a background that allows you to function well. There are things that you need to learn on the job, and he was very, very instrumental in helping us transition well. He'll be missed, and I, I thank him very much for all his assistance. Okay, great. Thank you. Fritz? Yeah, uh, I also would like to make a couple comments about our Charles. I met him, I was trying to think, it's probably maybe 25 years ago, 24 years ago, uh, we had sold a house, and he was representing the uh, person buying it. it happened to be a, a lady, and it, like sometimes, it was uh, a troubled uh, closing. A lot of issues and problems, and back and forth. And uh, he handled that very, very well, uh, with his kind of sense of humor that he has, that he slips in. And uh, and since then, I've uh, had nothing but uh, great respect for our Charles. Uh, uh, being here now for three years and starting a new term, uh, I clearly see what he brings to this board, to this family. Uh, he is uh, he's one, one of a kind, and uh, I thank him very much for what he's done for our community here. And uh, on another note, just happy holidays, Merry Christmas to everybody. Thank you, Fritz. Mm -hmm. Greg? Well, in a short amount of time, I mean, I've been on the board two years, and our Charles is he's very sharp. He's, he's quite calm, fully very sharp, and uh, he is going to be missed by the township. He's really on point with, he knows all the legal stuff that, uh, hey, can we do this, can we do that, and he knows it all, and uh, he will be greatly missed. Um, other than that, uh, watch out for the weather, and uh, happy holidays. <laughs> That's about it. He does root for the Indians, though. <laughs> I forgot that. Uh, this, this actually is uh, supervisor comments, but uh, former supervisors here too. Gary, would you like to say anything? You can, yeah, can yeah, I'd like to just uh, mention that uh, I spent probably close to 40 years uh, knowing our Charles Thomas, dear friend. Not only, not only as uh, uh, being 
our employee is uh, when I was a supervisor, but he just became a good friend. And you know, we're all going to miss him. We all knew this day was going to come, and I wish him the best of best of everything. You know, enjoy his life and and move on. Thank you, Gary. Yep. Uh, yeah, I'd, I'd just like to echo everyone's comments on Mr. Thomas. He, he was certainly a, a class act, uh, very calm. Just has the greatest respect for that man. Uh, I remember talking to him about. Uh, he found out I was in the army. He he was actually in the army as a as a young man, uh, as an attorney, a JAG officer. So uh, he will be missed. So I'd like to also. Wish everyone Merry Christmas and Happy Holidays. So um, thank the Meadville Tribune for being here, Armstrong Cable. And with that, um, motion to adjourn. So moved. Second. Motion and second. All in favor? Aye. Aye. Meeting adjourned.